everyone, Gail here from Ticket to Anywhere here with yet another edition of Friday Fragment. Yay! Um, but as usual, before I give you my Friday Fragment, I have your undivided attention, so I'm going to do some announcements. It's like um, commercials before the previews at movies. Anyhow, first things first. Victoria Schwab, she is the author of this really fabulous book called The Near Witch, which is like a fairy tale and a ghost story and a little romance and all kinds of really fun, good, feel-good stuff. Um, on her blog, she is giving away a signed ARC. Her book is not out until August, so this is like a really big deal. So head on over to veschwab.wordpress.com. I'll try and put the linky thing at the bottom, but I hate watching myself, so... You might want to just type in Victoria Schwab and then find her blog that way. But she's giving away a signed ARC and a whole bunch of swag. So head on over there because you do not want to miss out on that opportunity. Um, other author contest news. Kim Harrington, author of this book, Clarity. She is doing a pre-order thank you contest. So if you have pre-ordered this book, head on over and she is giving away signed bookmarks, signed book plates, and stickers that have the cover of the book on them, which is fabulous. Also, for everyone who enters or like fills out her form, she's giving away a marked up finished copy of this book, this amazing, snark-filled, wonderful book, which I highly, highly, highly recommend everyone go out and get when it is out 26 days from now, 25 days. Anyway, less than a month. But. This marked up copy is going to have like underlined favorite passages, notes and doodles and stuff in the margins, and it just sounds absolutely to die for. I know I want it. You know you want it. So head over to kimharrington.blogspot.com in order to get it yourself. Okay. Oh, yes. And then for my own stuff, I got some really cool pins. Oops, upside down. This is a pin for the Iron Queen. The Iron Queen is a book by Julie Kagawa, which came out just the other day, week, not too long ago. I don't know. But it debuted at number six on the New York Times bestseller list. So yay, Julie, congrats. But yeah, so I have a whole bunch of these. So I'll be giving some of these away soon, along with these cool Iron Queen bookmarks. And on the back, it's got pictures of all the books and quotes from some bloggers, which I don't think you'll be able to read. But yeah. So, look out for those. And, in other contest news, you may have heard about these books. These are the books that I have been reading for like the last couple of weeks. These are the Penguin Breathless Reads. You have The Eternal Ones by Kristen Miller. Across the Universe by Beth Revis, Matched by Ali Condi, The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff, and Nightshade by Andrea Creamer. And you might wonder, why am I showing you all these books? Because I am meeting all of these fabulous women on Wednesday. What does that mean for you? Leave a message, comment somewhere, either on this vlog or on my blog at TicketToAnywhere.net as to which book you would most like to read. Because what I am going to do is I am going to take the one that gets the most recommendations. Let's have all five so you can see them all. So whichever one of these you most like to read, let me know. Because when I meet them at the signing on Wednesday, weather permitting of course, I am going to get a signed copy just for you guys, my readers, to enjoy and love. So. Remember, it is Across the Universe by Beth Rivas, Matched by Ali Condi, Nightshade by Andrea Creamer, The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff, and The Eternal Ones by Kristen Miller. I will be buying you guys a finished signed copy, so just let me know which one you want and I will take care of it. And now that I've rambled on for like four minutes over just announcement stuff, I'm going to get to you to my Friday Fragment, which is going to be from The Eternal Ones by Kristen Miller. This is a book about love and reincarnation, and I am about 50 pages in, and so far I am liking it the best of all of those breathless reads that I just showed you. That's kind of saying a lot if you've been reading my reviews. Um, but I still have 
all of this left to read. That's 350 or some odd pages. So anything can happen. Hopefully, I will still continue to like it. But anyway, liking, not liking it aside, the section I am going to read to you is from chapter, tw chapter 12? That's, uh, yes, chapter 12. It's at the very beginning of the book. I really can't do anything further than that because, again, I'm only like at the very beginning of the book. So, here we go. Friday Fragment, The Eternal Ones, Kirsten, Kirsten Miller. So it's been eating at you, Bo said as he slid their box of supplies onto the table. Imogene's not letting me go off to school in the fall. You're kidding. Bo paused as if waiting for a punchline. Nope. Bo leaned back against the sink and watched his friend. What are you going to do? Haven shrugged. Listen, you remember any of the stuff I used to talk about when I was little? Not really, Bo said, thrown by the sudden change of topic. Your visions had pretty much stopped by the time we had become friends. But you told me all about Ethan and Constance, of course. Do you remember if I ever mentioned a fire? Bo thought for a moment. No, don't remember anything about a fire. What's all this about, anyway? My dad wrote down everything I said when I was little. Mom gave me a box filled with his notes right after Imogene decided to ruin my life. Bo stood bolt upright. She had something like this all this time and she never showed you? She didn't think I was ready for it. Well, what did you find out? He even reached into her back pocket, pulled out a folded sheet of paper, and began to read. Haven's always been a little eccentric, and I figured Ethan was just an imaginary friend, until I finally got around to asking a few questions. That's when I began to think that Haven might be remembering another life. Whoa. Bo looked as though Haven had just announced that aliens had landed on the front lawn. That's what I thought, Haven said, her confidence fading a little. I told my dad that my name used to be Constance, and that I lived in New York. Ethan was my boyfriend. Let me see that. Bo took Ernest Moore's letter from Haven's hands. He sat down at the table, and Haven watched as his eyes tracked the words to the bottom of the page, and then started all over again. Do you really believe in this reincarnation stuff? he asked. When he looked up at last, what do you mean? Bo ran a hand through his blonde curls. I don't know, Haven. I guess I just need a little time to wrap my head around this. I mean, I don't think you're crazy, and I'm pretty sure you're not in league with the devil. But I was brought up to believe that God judges each of us, and I have faith there's a heaven, even if most people in this town wouldn't want to see me there. Me too, Haven, ex Haven exclaimed. But you gotta admit, it kinda makes sense. How else would I know about places I've never been, and... She paused. What? Well, I think I might be having the visions for a reason. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to find Ethan. That's what I told my dad when I was little. Ethan? You think he might still be around? Wouldn't he be awfully old and old for you by now? I mean, even if he's real, at the very least he'd be pushing a hundred and ten. Haven cut him off. I had another vision last night. There was a fire. That's how Constance died. I think it killed Ethan too, and I think he's been reborn, just like me. I have to find him, Bo, and you have to help me. I can't explain how, but I know he's out there. Right. Bo's blue eyes locked on Haven's. So you're telling me that Ethan's your soulmate or something? Haven frowned and looked away. Well, it does sound kind of cheesy when you put it that way. I'm not trying to make it sound cheesy, Bo said softly. He folded Ernest Moore's letter and slid it across the table to Haven. I think it's kind of a nice idea. Totally insane, but nice. But where do you suppose we should start looking for Mr. Wright? Johnson City? Unicoi? <laughs> Funny. He's in New York. He read my dad's letter. He said I told him that Ethan will be waiting for me in New York. <laughs> Wait a second. Now I get it, Bo said. Look, it's, look as smug as a TV detective who had just solved a crime. You forgot I can read your mind, Haven Moore. You think Ethan's come back as Ian Morrow, don't you? I do not! It seemed even ridiculous when Bo said it. Oh, yes, you do, Bo teased her. But don't worry. You don't have to admit it yet. I just hope my soulmate turns out to have a billion dollars in the face of a Greek god. Be serious for a moment, Haven pleaded. You don't think this whole thing is crazy, do you? No crazier than demonic possession, I guess. Bo said with a shrug. At least you didn't claim you were Cleopatra in your past life. But how does reincarnation work, anyway? Why would, keep, why would God keep sending us back to the screwed up planet? I have no idea, 
Maybe God sends people back if they still have something to figure out, Haven mused. You know, maybe that's why you're gay. Maybe you were a woman in your last life, and you were terrible to lots of guys, so God sent you back so you can see what it's like on the other side. I was not a woman, Bo snarled. For someone so good-natured, he could be surprisingly quick to quarrel. Are you saying being gay is some kind of punishment? You sound just like Tidmore. Do you want me to help you find your goddamn soulmate or not? Haven winced. Sorry, Bo. That didn't come out right, did it? It's just that all this makes me wonder if I'm being punished. Why else would I have been born into Imogene's family? I must have murdered a whole town. Bo grinned, his anger gone. So, who do you suppose Imogene was last time around? Oh, that's easy, Haven left. Tilla the Hun. So that is a small excerpt from The Eternal Ones by Kirsten Miller. Um, this came out last August by Razorbill. It's out in stores now. And if you want a signed copy of this book, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want signed copies of the other books. These ones here. And of course this one here. Let me know in the comments and I'll pick one up for you. Till next Friday. Bye.